Imagine you are in space. When you look at the stars, you get a perfectly clear picture of them. But as you go closer to the Earth, entering its atmosphere, wind and temperature differences cause turbulence that distorts the image of the stars. This is what makes the stars twinkle. While the effect is very romantic for a couple in love, it causes many problems for the astronomers who want to observe the sky. To deal with this problem, an astronomer named Horace Babcock came up with an idea called adaptive optics back in 1953. In his day, there wasn't the technology to achieve this, but nowadays, this idea is widely used in telescopes to correct the distortion caused by the atmosphere. But how does adaptive optics work? The astronomer shoots a powerful laser into the sky. When the laser reaches the edge of the atmosphere, the frequency of the beam stimulates the particles, causing them to glow. That glow acts as a fake star, which can be used as a reference to calculate the distortion. When the light from the fake laser star reaches the telescope, as a wave it is sent to an instrument that calculates the atmospheric distortion. A computer uses this information to create an opposite wavefront, which is applied to a deformable mirror. This mirror consists of a very thin layer of flexible metal, with hundreds of small magnets attached onto the back. These magnets instantly move up and down so the surface of the mirror is transformed. The mirror now has the shape of the opposite wavefront, so the light wave is evened out after it strikes its surface. This enables the astronomers to view a clear image of the stars. Astronomers can now view the stars more accurately. But don't worry, we are leaving the twinkle for the romantics.